Yeah, Assalamualaikum uh, Now I will give a lecture On the uh, uh, Group pile Okay Alright For the first one Group pile Okay A pile cap Yeah So this is the pile cap lah. Okay The pile cap Is constructed over group pile Yeah The cap can be contact with ground So like this contact This is a ground Yeah So it will contact uh, with ground, yeah, or as most cases, yeah, well above the ground, as uh, in case of offshore platform, lah, here, yeah, so offshore, yeah, so this is the pile, yeah, so this is the pile cap, yeah, for offshore platform okay so this is the size lah yeah so this is the pile this is the size of the group pile okay so lg yeah so lg and bg lah so to, to get lg and bg so this is the equation yeah so n is the n1 and n2 is the number of pile in group okay so the area yeah a equal to lg time bg yeah lg lg time bg lah so you get area right and then parameter so given by this equation lah all right okay now group pile okay so if you place yeah the pile close to each other yeah close to each other a reasonable assumption is that the stress tra transmit by the soil will overlap yeah so the stresses the stresses transmit to the soil yeah this is a soil the blue color dot so is um overlap here yeah so it will reduce the load bearing capacity of the pile yeah so it will reduce the ability of the pile yeah to carry the loads lah if you place it too close yeah to each other okay so in the spec mentioned that the spacing yeah this is the pile for example this is the pile yeah so the spacing yeah center to center center to center of the pile should be minimum yeah minimum 2.5 2.5d or in an ordinary situation yeah so it can be 3 to 3.5d yeah so the d here yeah the d here is the diameter of the pile yeah diameter of the pile yeah, the spacing center to center of the pile. So when you design for the group pile, yeah, when you want to place your pile, the your pile, the spacing between two pile should be at least two point five. Yeah, or uh, three to three point five lah. Yeah, but normally for the circular pile, yeah, the spacing should be. 3D yeah at least 3D okay if you design for the square pile you can go for 1.2.5D alright the spacing between the pile alright okay so efficiency of load bearing capacity of a group pile yeah so new ni yeah is the group efficiency lah. Okay. So this is the explanation for the parameter here. Yeah. Okay. You can read yourself lah. That one. Okay. And then depending on the their space within the group. Yeah. The pile may act one of the two ways. So it can act as a block. Yeah. With this dimension. Yeah. So L, length, 
and the B is the width of LG is the length of the this one, yeah. This one, LG, BG, yeah. And L is the length of the pile. Length of the pile. Okay. Or it can act individually. Right, so to calculate for the new the the group efficiency, yeah, given by this equation, right? So this is the um. You have to follow this one, yeah. The rules, yeah. So it's new, less than one, so. Q G U, yeah, equal to this one, or more than. Or equal to one, so use this this one to calculate for uh Q G U, yeah, right. This is the Q G U, right? Meaning that the load that the pile can carry lah. QGU, okay. QGU, yeah, is the lower of two, uh, following values, lah. Yeah. So, if you want to calculate for QGU, yeah. You want to know this one, the loads that the pile can sustain, yeah. QGU. So you can use. You should calculate using both of the equation, yeah. So. To determine QU, you take the lower value from this one, this value. Yeah. So you calculate using both of the equation, yeah, QU, and then you compare which one is the lower. So that is the loads which the pile, the group pile can sustain. Yeah. QGU, alright, and then. To determine N C star here, yeah, you you can use uh this figure, alright. And then this is the layer of soil one two three yeah one two three layer, and this is the C value lah C U, yeah undrained cohesion C U, alright. Okay. And then for the example one, yeah, I will record in a separate session, okay. I will upload in Google, uh, Classroom also lah for the example one, right? Okay, and then we we'll move to elastic settlement of pile group, yeah. So to calculate for the settlement of group pile, yeah, basic. In nineteen sixty nine, come out with this equation. Yeah, so you can to calculate to get the settlement of group pile. You can use this equation, and then this is the explanation on the parameter here, lah, right? And then Mayhoff in nineteen seventy six, come out with this equation. Yeah, to calculate for the uh, settlement of the group part. Okay, so Q U. You can use this equation to get Q Q. Yeah, to so substitute into this equation to get the settlement of group part. Okay, so this is the explanation on the parameter here. All right. Okay, so to calculate, yeah. To determine the consolidation settlement of group pile, yeah, consolidation settlement of group pile, you can use we can use the two to one stress distribution method here. Yeah, so the angle here, yeah, is two to one, yeah? right ratio. Okay, and then to determine, yeah, here. 
from bottom of the pile cap up to z here yeah z equal to zero yeah given by this equation so l over uh, 2 over 3 times L okay so you get this one yeah 2 over 3 L yeah you have to understand uh, to determine this one because you have to know this value to calculate yeah this one this length yeah to calculate for the consolidation settlement of pile group uh. So, please memorize this one. Eh? This one is 2 over 3L. Okay. Alright. So, this is the step. Yeah. Steps to calculate for the conciliation settlement of group part. So, you can read yourself this one. Yeah. And then, uh, I will explain. Yeah. The step by step ni in example 2. Alright, so when I explain the solution for example 2, I will follow this one, the steps here, to calculate for the consolidation settlement. Right? So, example 2 also will be given in separate session. Alright, so that's all for uh, the slides for this topic. Okay, so this is our last lecture. Yeah, this is our last topic. Yeah, for this course. Alright, thank you so much. I hope you can understand the lecture. Alright. You have any question, you can ask in the group. Alright. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.